Actually, I have been the only one who has been taking care of her in these days. She has always been neglected by the society. People should realize that disorders are a part of one's uh, life. She has always been neglected by the society, whether it has been uh, her uh, classmates or uh, outside outside the school, some friends or some relations. She has she has been neglected in one way or the other. Unlike her sister, her sister was always being welcomed, and she was like uh, she was like neglected in a way, ignored. And that had a psychological impact on her. For the last 10 to 15 years, she had more psychological pressure. The first time when she got seizure in the classroom, and it was it was known to me that all all her batchmates were so panicky that they started getting away from her. And since then, it continued. Certain relatives would come to our home. They would like to sit uh, more with with the normal people than my sister and that that also gave a feeling of isolation isolation like something and that had a psychological impact on that it was shocking to see the people uh, associated with her getting away from her for such a petty reasons when they uh, when they knew that it would not harm them anyway instead if they would have empathized with with her she would have uh, she would have been uh, psychologically good psychologically well she would not have lost her psychological balance which she had lost now she is regaining it actually i have been the only one who has been taking care of her in these days so every time she whenever uh, suppose uh, she has to go for any investigation here she needs me there uh, I have been there all the time whether it's for her going to bathroom washroom or uh, in recovery I have been there I plead it to doctors to let me there because she needed me there Every time she needed me here for the last 22 days and I have been always with her. It's my own determination that I wanted my sister to get cured anyway completely. Uh, I did not buckle at any point of time. That's it. I did not leave. I did not leave any hope. I always hoped for good and I think that has paid the most. If uh, by any means uh, my this video can help anyone to come out and uh, speak about the same as I have experienced, maybe that will that will that maybe that will help someone, some other people to get the to get the benefit of to, to get such benefits so this kind of sharing is essential in the in the in the present present times uh, sharing is very important and such kind of sharing where one can uh, benefit one can benefit with regard to its health is more important People should realize that disorders are a part of one's uh, life. Disorders can be in everybody's life, maybe one or the other. And they should realize, people should realize that uh, disorders cannot be get away by being away from the patients. Somebody has a disorder like this or like any other disorder we should empathize or sympathize rather than we should leave her or him in isolation 
that will that uh, that can that can boost the morale that can that can make the patient to, uh, to live that can make the patient a ray of hope that's that's what i can say if society if the people are uh, with the patient he can live more i think and if they desist being with him uh, he feel isolated and there are so many disorders that can uh, that can uh, add on to the already existing disorder